Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, February 22nd. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker, and global brand publisher. He's the founder and executive director of Global Hope India and the CEO of Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses, and nonprofits throughout the world. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsela Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsela is a sister in Christ, friend, and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsela to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show. I'm Pastor Kevin White, and I'm here with my co-host, Stemsela. And we are hoping that your February is uh, ending as great as your January started. It is February the 22nd, 2022. And we wave to you on YouTube, and we are offering some high fives and fist pumps there. And we welcome everyone listening wherever podcasts can be heard. What an honor it is to have you and in the audience of the show. And we have been celebrating during the month of February that this is the Living the Dream show. God has a dream for each and every one of us. It is not living the devil's nightmare show. And we want to get out from up under the temptations and the the tactics of the enemy to create doubt and fear and worry. Uh, This is the third year in a row that we are dealing with COVID-19. It is 2022. We thought that would be over in 2020. Uh, The majority of the planet did. And yet uh, it's spreading continuously through the Omicron variant. And who knows what other variants we might have. It just seems like we're stuck in a saga that just won't won't go away. And then there's other financial pressures and uh, different things that individuals are facing. There's natural disasters. And it just seems like it's one thing after another. And if you're not careful, the enemy, if you will allow him, will take God's dream for your life and turn it into your nightmare. And we don't want mm-hmm. that to happen. Uh, on today's mm-hmm. episode, we're actually going to continue in the theme that we've had during the month of February, but we are really going to dive into the word triumphant. I want you to hear that as a prophetic word over your life. And we're not just going to to, to just prophesy over it. We want to provide some very practical steps out of God's word for living triumphantly in 2022. I know it's February. Surely by now, if you made a New Year's resolution and already crashed and burned, you're you're resetting. Uh, That's sort of what we've been doing in the month of February. I'm going to just look over at my co-host, Tim Sala. Thank you so much for being on the show. How are you? Thank you. Good, good. Yeah. I want you to just, I'm doing great. I want, I want to just give you an opportunity to really take us in to what God has been showing you about this opportunity to live triumphantly for Christ. When we look at the world, um, I really, you know, sometimes there are so many voices in my ears that are not from God. And Mm -hmm. that's mainly, you know, everything is about Defeat, discouragement, Mm -hmm. living a defeated life, all the things, all the negativism that comes in. But as I dive more and more into the word of God, I can very clearly see that that's not what God has intended for us as his children is not to live a defeated life. He has called each one of us as as his children. precious children to Mm -hmm. live a life of victory and that victory is being triumphant in everyday situation to be triumphant to live triumphantly not Mm -hmm. with our own self you know that i can do this on my own not that way Mm -hmm. but we can because of what christ has done Mm -hmm. you know we can i am able to because of what Jesus have done at the cross of Calvary. Mm. And that is what I can, you know, it's like 
but I can, he has already given me this promise. Mm -hmm. He has already, if Jesus died and that was it, that was the end of the story, then that's, you know, ends in a very defeated, sorry thing. But mm -hmm. it is not, that's not how the story ends. That's right. For us, mm -hmm. it's not the death of Christ, but mm -hmm. it's the resurrection of Christ. That's what it is. That's the triumphant story. Mm -hmm. And that's right in front of me. That's before me. That is, you know, an everyday thing that I see it. The more I dig deeper into the word of God, <laughs> that is so clear. And why would I allow the enemy to steal that away from me? Mm -hmm. He has, he is encouraging me. He has shown to me that it, he has already given me that victory. Mm -hmm. Why would I allow the enemy to steal that away from me? But many times, intentional or unintentionally, we allow the world to creep in and to steal away the victory that Jesus has already given to us. Mm -hmm. And if we are not careful, and that's why Jesus keep, uh, you know, uh, encouraging, you know, keep telling us that we need to be watchful, we need to be careful, because that's what will ha happen if uh, with all the different parables he tells us is if we don't take care, we will allow all the wheat to grow in that to grow mm -hmm. where it should be a, a good crop. Mm -hmm. We will allow if we don't take care of it. And so we need to be very, very careful mm -hmm. and to that we should not allow the enemy to steal what Christ has already given to us, what Christ has already promised us, what God, God has already told us. Don't let the enemy lie to us to allow ourselves to live in defeat, mm -hmm. whereas Jesus has already given that victory to live triumphantly in him. Yes. And that's the thing that comes to our to my mind. Is, mm -hmm. And there are so many other scripture passages and how we can live a victorious life mm -hmm. the struggle between the flesh and the spirit is real which mm. galatians talks about it very clearly that this is from the flesh this mm -hmm. is from the spirit mm -hmm. and it's going to clash so which one are you going to follow mm -hmm. what the spirit says or will you believe what the flesh says yeah. if the flesh you go by what the flesh says then you are going to be defeated Mm -hmm. But if we allow, if we come in line with what the Spirit says, we are going to be lifted higher and higher. And that's the victory, yes. the victorious life. Yeah. Yeah. Last week we talked about the word easy. Jesus promised, take my yoke upon you for my uh, yoke is easy and my burden is light. And now you're talking about how the Spirit can lift us. So let's dive into Galatians and then I'll come back and share some things in a little while. What? What, what yeah. would you share with us out of Galatians? The Galatians chapter 5, uh, verses 16. And I'll just read to you about a little bit of that verse about what Paul talks to the Galatians. And he says in verse 16, 5 verse 16, I, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hmm. But the flesh for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the mm -hmm. spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. That's mm -hmm. what it says. And mm -hmm. not just that. It goes very clearly mentions about what are the works of the flesh, which are adultery, fornications, uncleanness, you know, uh, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousy, outbursts of rats, selfish ambitions, mm -hmm. dissensions, heresies, envies, and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. And then you have the fruit of the spirit, which is which is very opposite to the work of the flesh. Mm -hmm. And what I have been reading was the work of the flesh. And this is the work of the spirit. And that is love, joy, mm -hmm. peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Mm -hmm. And those are from the Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. 
And, you know, I'm thinking there could be someone in the audience that just be sort of laughing under their breath of, sister, that is so extreme. Uh, I thought we were talking about worry and doubt and anxiety and troubles. And, and yet I wanted to just use one example, like she read about one of the consequences of the flesh is fits of rage. Well, if you and I don't take our troubles to God, that's where we're heading to fits of rage. And uh, if you will really dissect those other behaviors of the flesh, what you will find is is it they begin with anxious thoughts about not being accepted. So we go and try to find our needs met apart from Christ and we get into trouble and sexual sins and everything else. And so the, the enemy's very crafty. You know, very few people wake up today and say, I'm going to have a fit of rage today. No, the enemy mm-hmm. just comes in and just says, you're nothing. You're, go- you're never going to have any, any money. You're, you're never going to be successful. And, and it's just lie after lie after lie. And it mm-hmm. builds up to a point where, where we get depressed, we get angry, we, we suppress that because we're people of God, we're supposed to be um, full of the Spirit at all times and have joy and not anger, so we just suppress it. And then all of a sudden, we have these, these moments where this fit of rage just comes out mm-hmm. and we do things, we say things, we, we regret, and it happens to all of us. It's happened to me. Mm-hmm. And yet we we have to choose long before we get to those behaviors what we're going to do with the thought processes that lead to those behaviors. And that's surrendering our, our, our access of information over to the Holy Spirit. Are we going to depend upon the world's information, man's information, or on the revelation of God? I want to share a passage where, where, where we are told that it is for freedom that you have been set free. And I really want to bring this into a moment for the Live in the Dream show. One of the, one of the things that Tim Salai and I pray over this show and over the audience is that the audience would be free, free to know and do God's will. Yes. If we are burdened down we're not free. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no condemnation for being burdened down. But I want to I wanna just talk to you as a parent for a moment. I'm a father. She's a mother. As a parent, there are those days in all of our lives where we, we pull ourselves up out of bed. Maybe we don't feel well because we're, flighting, we're fighting a flu or something. But we have mm-hmm. responsibilities in the next room. We can't just Mm -hmm. stay in bed for weeks and weeks and no one get fed and no one Mm -hmm. get proper hygiene and and sanitation and everything else because we are sick. No, the identity of being a parent requires that that we find a certain level of freedom from that sickness, from that Mm -hmm. depression or whatever that we, we make it to the room next door to take care of the little ones. Every father has had to do that. Every mother's had to do that. Well, in that analogy is what we talked about a few weeks ago out of Ephesians, where, where Paul is telling us, now therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the mm-hmm. household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. And the message of this living triumphant, the pathway to that is realizing it's you're not alone in this. And that there are there are people in the next room, let's say the clerk at the gas station, the the doctor the the people who wait on your tables, the people in the marketplace, the people that you work beside, the people that you live beside in your townhouse, in your cul-de-sac, in your neighborhood, people of other passports, other nationalities, mm-hmm. other skin colors that, that need your presence in their life. 
And there's no condemnation for those moments that you truly can't get to the next room and help them out. But that should be temporary, a day or two at best. Not, it's now February the 22nd, 2022. Amazing, two, 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 two. That's amazing number. If we have not already put this in the motion for 2022, it's going to stunt our freedom. It is for freedom that you've been set free. So the yeah. reason God's investing in you having a triumphant life is for you and I to go next door and help others to have triumphant life in their life as well. And if we refuse that, then then we're going we're going to get to a place where we're going to conflict with this Galatians 5 and we're going to enter in to the the behaviors of the flesh instead mm. of the life of the spirit because the spirit's mm. going to lead us into the next room lead us yes. into the marketplace lead us into the school lead us mm. into the people's lives that also need to know that in Christ they can live triumphantly mm. So how are we doing? It's February the 22nd, 2022. This is the Living the Dream show. Are we living that dream and helping others to live the dream? Mm -hmm. Because yes. if we are just buried under our burdens and we're not giving them over to the Lord, then, mm -hmm. then that prayer that Timsala and I are praying over you in the audience is, mm -hmm. is going to be limited we are praying that you would be free to know and do God's will as it relates to helping your neighbors live the dream. Because we're all pointing to Revelation 7, 9 through 12 of every tribe and tongue and language being before Christ in heaven, worshiping at the throne of Jesus Christ. How are we going to get there if we are bogged down with all of this trouble and all of this pain. And, mm -hmm. and again, I'm, it's not my point here to condemn you, to judge you. It's, it's mm -hmm. to cast vision. That parent mm -hmm. has vision that God's going to heal them because they've got responsibilities in the next room. These, mm -hmm. these babies need a parent and your neighbors need a neighbor. Mm -hmm. The foreigner needs a neighbor. The stranger needs a neighbor. The people far from God need Jesus. And so you and I live the dream so that they have opportunity to live the dream. Anything mm -hmm. else before we close out, Timsala? What's, yeah, what's God bringing to I just wanted to encourage with uh, something that I heard from Billy Graham preaching. And this is what he said. And that's to believers. As we see Christ clearly, gospel gets bigger in our heart. Mm. And his death, that's the Christ's death and the resurrection becomes more wonderful for those who believe in him. Mm -hmm. And sin becomes more disgusting. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, the word of God becomes more clear for those who follow Christ. And the more we get closer to Christ, his word also becomes more clear. And our love for God and his word becomes more deeper and more delightful as the days go by. If Christ is the number one in our life. Mm -hmm. And that's what Matthew says, you know, in Matthew chapter six, it talks about seek ye first the kingdom of God and all the things will be added unto you everything will fall into place when we put god first in our life mm -hmm. and that's what to live triumphantly if you want to live a triumphant life then put god first in your life yeah and i just wanted to end with uh you know colossians chapter one verses um nine and following it says here for this reason this is our prayer we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you mm. and to seek that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will mm -hmm. in all wisdom and spiritual understanding.
that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work mm -hmm. and increasing in the knowledge of God, mm. strengthened with all might according to his glorious power mm -hmm. for all patience and long suffering with joy. And mm -hmm. that's our prayer for every of our listeners. Amen. It is. It is. And I echo that. And I want you to know we are praying for you. We'd love to pray for you by name. You're welcome to reach out to me at Kevin at globalhopeindia.org uh, or Kevin at kevinwhite.us. Uh, I'll be happy to share any messages to Timsala with her. So please let us know how we can pray for you. And we will see you back next week on the Live in the Dream Show. God bless you all. God bless you all. Three billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Just how many is three billion people? It takes one second to say hello to one person. If you wanted to greet three billion people, it would take you 100 years of saying hello nonstop. Global Hope India has been empowering local churches throughout India to provide access to Jesus to the one billion unreached souls in India. You can make a difference now at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Generously Blessed. Kevin's books Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and everywhere books are sold. Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player. And never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week, we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.